All right, so here's the first of the construction videos. Of course, we're upstairs. Here we have the room where we've been, where we stuff the kitties when we're when the construction's going on because all the outside doors are open. Windows, litter box, food, water. The kitties don't care much for the construction and they don't care for being stuffed in here at the same time. So, this is the lesser of two evils. Anyway, that's not the purpose of the video. The purpose of this video is to see what the status of the construction is. Destruction is done. Well, kind of, sort of. We're done with it, so it's now their turn. We have drywall on the ceiling. A temporary light, an alley cat. They spent some time today scraping up some more of this floor here. What I didn't get, the backing of the original, uh, like vinyl or whatever it was made out of. Layer on the floor, Oreo. We're gonna put some floor down here. Probably, I don't know if we're going to pull this up or go over top of it. Oh, let's see. New 2x4s framing that wall. Because of that wall over there with pipes in it, uh, we have to kind of fur it out. That's the term the contractor uses. You can see that doorway is now wider. You can see it down here on the floor. You can see here at the top, too. The section here has been cut out. So this is now a 33 inch doorway instead of a 29 inch. This is the original wood here. They just cut out behind it. Temporary light there, drywall. And the floor back here was ripped out too. Oh yeah, he even took out the floor inside the cabinets. So you can see what was inside the cabinets. The original subfloor. And you can see here where they put plywood in when they got rid of the, the screened in porch that was here back in the 90s, I think. It was long before we bought this house. How they kind of, you can tell of where this plywood kind of goes uphill to meet the house. Then there's the existing floor that was pulled up, which we're going to pull this up to at a later point, just not now. So we've got, a, this is a whole nother project. Pull up the floor here in the bathroom, pull up the plywood to expose the pipes underneath so we can insulate them so they don't freeze like they like to do. Get rid of the sink. Put in a pedestal sink. Possibly get rid of this. Don't know. The uh, cabinet here. Get rid of this piece of crap toilet that we've had to replace parts on numerous times and it's on its way out the door again. This thing is just an utter piece of trash. For any of you that want to know what type it is, there you go. Don't buy one of these, they're trash. I don't even know if that's branded around anymore, but it's a piece of garbage. <laughs> Eventually it'll end out of, up out of the curb where it belongs. Here you can see from this side where they took down the original wood here and where this has all been cut out. This is where the doorway used to stop. This is all new opening. Those light switches haven't moved, neither is that plug. This is where the microwave used to sit, right here, on top of a cabinet. And you can see where we had an... oops. We... the light switch for the bathroom used to be here, and we took it out. My wife and I did. And we were going to just flip the box around and put it there. Well, it's kind of jerry-rigged. 
in there because it didn't quite work as planned because there was a stud which you can see here running across here and the uh, box was mounted to the stud well the studs too close on the other side so if you mounted it what it did is it stuck out to about here so that was a bit of a problem so we cut out the stud and ran into a whole bunch of other problems and oh my god that was a mess <laughs> that was a little side project that we took on Sunday and that went horribly wrong so not quite sure how we're going to fix that yet but it's an oops that I'm not sure what the deal was with this whether I did this when I was prying the uh, the cabinet off this wall or whether it was there before, don't know. This switch right there is for the outside motion sensor light, which is why there's tape over it. We haven't replaced these switches yet. Changed them to the white that we're using throughout the house. So that's what we've got for you so far. This switch, of course, is for the light next to the door here outside which doesn't have a bulb in it, it's not in use. That's why it's plastic over with a Ziploc bag. One of the contractor's water bottles. A dusty mess. Lots of screws and such. That microwave will be stored in the basement eventually, once the new one's put up. So that's what we've got for you. You can see here where New wire has been run for a fluorescent light that we're putting up right there on the ceiling. You can see where the where we pulled the trim piece off. Excuse me, Ari, you need to move. Pulled the trim piece off here. Ran the wiring. It's going to put the switches right here. That's new insulation. And let's see, plumbing's been redone. Hot water, cold water, drain pipe for the new sink that's going to be going here. The dishwasher used to be here, now that's going to be the kitchen sink. And over here is just plumbing and hot water for the dishwasher that's going here where the sink used to be. So we just flip stuff around. As I said, some new insulation in here. Took out the blown in that was held in with duct tape. Yeah genius move on somebody's part back when they uh, redid the kitchen here at one point the back door used to be there as you know new framing up this wall is actually ready to be drywalled because there's nothing further to be done that's new insulation there instead of blowing in that was there this wall is basically finished see where you cut out there to uh, run wiring the outside wall of the house. There's the lath and the plaster. This wall obviously isn't done yet. And he won't be ready to drywall any of this until uh, the cabinets come in. So he knows exactly where to make his holes for electric. And Same with this wall here. Cabinet should be in next week. Uh, I think like next Wednesday or something like that. Then next Friday this floor is scheduled to be done. Probably going to plywood it tomorrow. The company that's pu putting in the flooring will be here uh, next Friday. And then next Saturday we get our new stove, which will be going uh, over here. Over here, that's right. Stove's going over here about where that ladder is. Small cabinet, stove, and our over the stove microwave that we purchased. Kitchen sink goes there, putting in a garbage disposal and all that. So there'll be a garbage disposal and light switch, two switches there, light going right there. Dishwasher is going over here, and the rest of this wall is going to be all cabinets. It's all going to be cabinets over here. Small cupboard, fridge is going to be going just over a little bit. We're keeping this fridge. That's the only piece we're actually keeping. Everything else will be new. Except for the ceiling fan that will be going back up there, where it was. Until we decide if we're getting a new smaller fan or what. Because the 52 inch is too big for this room. Can't really run it on high because it just 
creates a disaster. It's fans too big. And uh, see where some new boards have been added here for the drywall going up and over. And that's about what we've got for you. So now that I've burned up like 10 minutes of your time, thanks for watching this uh, construction update video for Extreme Makeover Kitchen Edition and other, some other stuff included. And we'll uh, catch you when we have some more progress for you. So thanks for watching and speak to you later.